Hello, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's quite noisy here, but I have something to ask. You. We were talking about scrapping the other time. So it's more like I'm new to this world, but I have maybe just little basic knowledge. But what I want to ask about the scrapping of it that you were saying, is it that someone will enter a trade and when it goes in a favor with someone, like you close it again and you will re-enter again, something like that? Is it something like that you are saying? Yes. Okay. So just as I was explaining, all right, I've closed like four different um, trades on this BTC market that is ranging right here. Okay. You see this range we have right here. I've closed, you know, starting from here, actually. This is why I started picking trades on BTC. Okay. I've closed like four different trades on this. All right. And um, I wouldn't want to start telling you much on me, but let me just give you an instance of, you know, how this thing works. Okay. I had the intention of being long on a long trade for BTC, okay, which I shared with you guys this evening, um, this morning rather, okay. I shorted BTC around this area, which it went through, though it didn't hit full TP. So when I saw that BTC was reversing, I had to close this one because already the long trade, which I had a limit of, already triggered, okay, and the market was going up. So I had to close this short. And then I took a trade again. As at the time I posted the update on the group, BTC was already around this area. So when I saw that it was dropping, I had to do what? Close the position. And then I set another limit order again, which it peaked. This time around, I was not waiting to make maybe 80% or 100% or whatever, okay? So the first one, I closed it at 40% plus 40% or thereabout yet. And then the second one, I closed it at plus 50%. And then the last one, it was um, 30%, okay? Once the market moved in, in my favor, 30%. And it was not even wasting time, right? It wasn't wasting time because I was using a 100x leverage on that, okay? Now, let me give you an instance, right? You use a 100x leverage and then you put a margin of around $40, for instance. You enter a trade here. If that market goes in your favor by 40%, just do the calculation. What is the for? What is 40% of $40? Okay. Uh, let me use uh, $100, for instance. Okay. You put $100 in that trade, and then it goes in your favor by 40%. That means you made already $40 as easy as that. Okay. And then you put another $100 there. It goes in your favor by 50%. You have made another $50. All right. You put another $100 there. It goes in your favor by, let's say, 30%. You made another $30. So you see that instead of just waiting for this trade to go hit full TP, where you would have made maybe 200 or whatever, and all of that, have just calculated, this is only five minutes time frame, okay? Just within this maybe two hours or thereabout, okay? I've been able to, you know, make, let's say, you know, you make 40, you make 50, you make 30, and all of that, I've been able to make more than $100 just capping this in three different setups. Okay, in three different setups and all of that. Now, I've set another limit order around here to pick a trade. One thing I've noticed is that on the five minutes time frame here, okay, BTC has been holding on um, to this $60,000 level, okay? This um, is a very strong support right here. Okay, this $60,000 level is a very strong support, which is why I'm having that confidence to keep that. Uh, once you break below this area. Now, basically, if I'm entering this trade again, what I'm basically risking is part of that profit that I've made already, not all of them, because that would be stupid of me to lose everything that I've made right here, right? So I'll be risking part of that trade to see if eventually, maybe BTC will get to around um, 61K level or even go up to 62 and all of that, okay? So that's basically scalping for you. So just within this moves alone, this ups and down here, you would have made, you know, and um, there is scalping that is even good with high leverage, right? When you use high leverage, when you want to scalp, okay? Because if I was supposed to open this trade and wait, you can see that it goes up, it comes back to the entry again, it goes up, it comes back below entry again, and then it keep going or wait for like ever. Then eventually you will forget and go and do something. That time you forget to go and do something out there about maybe the market will just eventually come and then hit your stop loss. And because you're using a very high leverage with a very high margin, you'll be losing more than expected. Okay, if you are going to hold a trade for long, the idea is use low leverage and hold it for as long as you want. 
okay, until it hits either your full TP or your SL, all right? Then if you are going to scalp, you can use as high leverage as you want, which is why I was talking about the 1077 S leverage from the jump exchange, okay? So at times I just come in here to play around. Maybe I'm looking for a quick $20, $30 or so. I just come in here to play. But if it goes against you, if I get it wrong, it, it always, you know, eat money, just like the demonstration I showed you earlier. All right? So that's basically um, how the scalping of a thing works. I don't know if that is clear. Do you understand? Is that clear, sir? Are we good? Are we on the same page? All right, guys. So I, 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 I was able to get some things, but because it has, uh, like it started raining here, yeah, but uh, it yes, got some things. Thank you so much. Anyway, I'll make the recording. I'll make a, the recording available so that you go to it again. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Any 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 other questions as to this? Any contributions to this? Um, James, sir. We proceed. James, sir. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Please, uh, I want to. I want you to help us really, sir. At, uh, uh, dog, dog movement, sir. Okay. All right. Dogs and dodge. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Yeah, somebody wanted to say something. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, let me first of all start by appreciating you for the classes. Though I'm new in the crypto um, stuff, and um, I got to discover sometimes when you post a signal, whenever I set a stop loss, it immediately hit my stop loss before going back to sometimes I set a 30% stop loss and all that, but it hit my stop loss before going the direction of the trade. So I wanted to ask, what is the advisable percentage of stop loss you advise someone to put on the trade so that I believe you understand me, sir. Hmm. I, I do understand you, but I'm not, I'm not in a good position to advise you because at times I use 100% as my stop loss. Okay. I think I've said this like 10 with that number. Uh, I think I used 100% uh, as, as stop loss and all of that. So I may not be in the uh, right position to advise you. Okay. So the, but the only advice I will give to you is that what it basically means is that you don't need, since you say you are just starting, okay, you don't need to trade every random token that is posted as signal. All right. See, the guys, the ad advice is, yes, I post signals for you to trade and make money, but the signal is not the final boss stop. Okay, the signal is not the final boss stop. Signals are supposed to be a guide to help you make a better decision. Let's say you woke up very confused, don't even know any token you would trade and all of that. And all of a sudden, you see signal for one trade, two trade, two tokens, three tokens, and all of that. You just quickly take a glance at those tokens. And I've said in all that you do, learn the basics of price, you know, action. Learn to understand what support and resistance are. Okay. Where so you, you can spot a resistance, even if it is on a higher time frame loan and all of that. When you get this, because there are tokens you set 30%, just one move in one second, it takes you out and it will still go back and, and you know, maybe hit full TP or even hit TP one, two, three and all of that. So first, don't trade every token that you see that comes because some of these tokens are too volatile. Just one move like this, you are either out or in, okay, and all of that. So it means that the the what's it called? It means that the stop loss you are setting, you are not giving the trade a space to breathe. I, I, at times I hold a trade to go against me by minus one hundred or even more when I am on cross margin, and eventually it was still come back and hit TP. You may not have the mind to do that. <laughs> you may not have the mind to do that. Just like the short setup, uh, that was yesterday, right? Okay. A lot of you would have that trade, you might have gotten out of it. But later in the evening, all of them started hitting one TP after another, right? And some of the trades are still running. So you you need first, if you want to hold a trade for that long, you need the capital. 
Second, you need to use very low leverage, right? Some of you will just come in and you use any leverage of your choice. Even if I recommend I use 20X leverage, it is not a must, you must use 20X leverage because your account size and mine is not the same, okay? And uh, I could be holding a trade on, on cross margin. Now on cross margin, even if the trade goes against me by minus 200%, my account could still be safe without getting liquidated, but you can't try that with an isolated margin. If you try it with isolated margin and you're using very high leverage, in fact, in most cases, you get liquidated at 50%. In most cases, you get liquidated at 90, 94, 95, 96%. It cannot liquidate you at 100%. It's not possible. All right? So those are some of the basic things you need to understand when you're coming into this space. Not just that you see Signa, you go ahead and enter and enter the signal, you know, and all of that. Okay, so just just um, you know, just take note of that. Okay, but as for stop loss, if you if you can try, okay, uh, what you can do right uh, is to reduce the leverage. I don't know the leverage amount of leverage you use. All right, reduce your leverage and then put your stop loss at fifty percent, or still use that thirty percent, and that will work for you. If you have been using tennis leverage. Cut it by two and start using 5x leverage, and you'll see the difference. All right. Okay, as for dogs, Thank dogs, you. dogs, dogs, I think dogs, you should be looking for buy. Okay. Uh, for me, I'll be looking for buy three. This is on the daily time frame, right? Yeah, on the daily time frame. So I'm looking for buy. Thank you for mentioning dogs, guys. Uh, whoever mentioned that, sorry, I, I couldn't take note of your name. So for dogs, I'm going to be looking for buy. All right. I'm going to be looking for an opportunity to take a long trade on dogs with uh, stop loss. Let me see. If I start looking for a long trade around maybe just slightly beneath this, uh, let me know you the week. Let's see. Somewhere around that area, guys. If I start looking for for longs around this area, can we get that? Okay. Stop loss. Let's do just slight below that week there, which would give us around maybe seven, approximately seven percent stop loss. Okay. But what I would do is to reduce the stop loss. I'll use the buy bit scale order. All right. And looking at a one to four risk to reward ratio up to that my Fibonacci tool there. Okay, set a limit order for this, guys. Set a limit order for dogs. I will set uh, use by the scale order and then put my last order just around that 0 0.3061 or 612 or 615 or so. Then stop loss will remain where it is. That in case it wakes down and all of that, I'm out. Okay. That's what I'm looking at for dogs. So look for long on dogs. Um, we are going into the weekend. I don't know how the weekend will be. Maybe it could be bullish, it could be bearish. I'm not sure yet, but make sure you use stop loss in that. Uh, that's for dogs. And then you talked about douche. Let me look at douche USDT. Douche, 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 douche. Douche. Uh, many stuff here guys okay so this setup no longer valid this one too no longer valid currently we are at that level right there those seriously those is still very bearish okay those is still very bearish so i don't know i can only uh, start thinking or predicting what will happen next maybe after the close of today's candle uh that should be seven hours from now right oh, yeah seven and a half hours from now so i don't know i don't know okay those i'm still it's still very bearish for me uh right now no no setup on those um but if you get it i don't know just wait okay just wait for those who we'll, i'll let you know uh it is one of those trades i've been looking i've uh, been you know equally following and the rest so uh, Morocco is one of those trades on my on my spot box. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for when this thing would do a miracle and go to all time high, right? All time high. Um, but right now, no setup for this. Okay, no setup for those right there. So if you want to scalp, then you can be looking for short trades and all of that. 
So no setup for this right now. All right. So that's basically it for dogs. For Doge, let's see how tomorrow plays out. Maybe by Monday or there about we'll getting setups. Then I'll let you know, guys. So how many of you have joined the competition, you. guys? You guys are not trying. Yeah, here you ask me questions from morning to night, and I just to go and join my squad now. I won't be surprised at okay. some of you are already in this competition, but they are not. You don't want to join my squad anyway. Best of luck. Uh, if you like, join. If you don't like, join. It doesn't make a good uh, answer. Doesn't really. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm the one that asked for the dodge and the dog. Please, sir, can you help me out one more? I need a near, near peer. Oh, hola. Thank you, sir. Have you joined the competition? Have you joined my squad on the Bible, on the on, on, ongoing Bible competition? No, sir, I've not joined, sir. You said we're going to, before we come you said we're going to have $500 or so. I don't have that kind of a motorbike cancer. That's the reason okay. why. Okay, it's all right. Yeah, USDT. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So near is nearing our entry point. Now nah, this near really there with me. I was thinking that this breakout here near will just keep pumping. Ah. And then I think this candle was the one that ate that plenty of money from me. But this, I'll make back the money anyways. Near for near two, it's just like Doge. I don't have I don't have any setup on near right now. Okay, I'm not. If it is to buy, all right, I don't have any setup on near right now. Okay, if it is to buy, I don't have any setup on near. And then if you're looking to sell from the current price to you know um, that Fibonacci tool, there it's about six percent. Uh, that's if you go to the second uh, Fibonacci line, that's about 6% deposit, the sixth level. Uh, that's about 6% or thereabouts. So um, if you are looking for short, maybe that could work. You can do lower time frame. Let's see what five minutes has for us. Okay, if you are looking for short, uh, you can do lower time frame for that and see how it plays out, okay? Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if, for instance, you enter like a short trade around this area, and then I was targeting, which level was I even targeting self? 6% should be down that level there, okay? Yeah. So if you do this, that could work. Maybe your stop loss, you can put it, um, let's put it above that high there. Okay, that's 5%. For me, I'll just use the scale order to just, you know, enter trades on this, but I'm not ready to short near. If you want to short near, this will actually play out. Okay. Maybe till after tomorrow or by next week, Monday or thereabout, I'll start looking for long opportunity on near. But right now I don't have I don't have that you know, that opportunity yet. So no setup for near at the moment. Except you want to scrap it, then you can go ahead and start looking for shorts. Okay. But for now, let's see what happens um, by tomorrow. Um Maybe after Saturday, Sunday, we'll not know what to do next, okay? I don't have any setup on here. The other one is what? The next one is what? It's just oh, dodge, the next the dodge near and uh, dog. That is, a, that is a three token animation. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, let me go back to my BTC and see what's going on. Solana too, guys. I'm looking to buy Solana, so keep an eye on Solana. For those of you who missed Solana at uh, less, uh, lower than 130 and all of that, keep an eye on Sol. Okay, keep an eye on Sol. BTC is still at 6,500. We have not triggered yet, so we'll just keep holding, see what will happen. All right, so we we'll miss, we we'll miss that run there. All right, we we'll miss BTC right there, but. We'll stay, we could actually get an opportunity to re-enter again. So my limit order around that area is still valid. I'm still holding on to it and see how it goes. Right. So why this is running, let's see Seoul USDT.
I was actually on a short trade on Solana. I think I still have made orders on, on to short Solana. And, um, I don't know. Yeah, for long trades right now, no. We can't be looking for any long yet on so. So those my short risk uh, could actually still be valid. Um, I already closed the first um, the first one that triggered. Yeah. So this one right here, okay, is where I entered the short trade, and then I think I closed it around that area. Yeah, and then we we'll bounced up there. I still have limit orders to sell Solana at around that one thirteen one thirty eight dollars, right? One thirty nine rather. A one thirty nine dollars level, and then my stop loss is around that one forty, one forty one or one forty. I'm still very bearish on so, and um, yeah, that's basically some of the trades that I've been holding. All right, let me know what are you trading? Uh, Risk dot com. Alpha, what, which trade are you currently holding? It is only the time, sir. Are you still holding your long big time? Yeah, I'm still on the mix. <laughs> you are really keeping to this uh, rule of taking just one trade a day. <laughs> Even I say that signal really humble you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Because I feel like taking a lot of trades, like it will not help a lot, seriously. So, like, yeah. I only enter That's one right. two trade only a day. It's okay for me. Because I don't know this market is the is the ginger me somehow. Like example, for example, now now if I enter this soul around a one one thirty five, right? So I put my stop loss around one thirty three. So the market is always coming closer to one thirty two point ninety eight. Then it will take me out, chai. Then it started moving in my direction. And then I don't know why this market is not like again. that. <laughs> yes, now. Like a lot of trade, even my forest, my forest trading, I enter a lot of trade like this. Like I will lose a trade with only two pips, only two or one pips. I see what in this up now. This market, yeah. people are saying no one need to chop money. Mm. Okay, uh, quickly, right before I, I want to show you guys something. Just hold on. Um, I want to show you guys something. Please look at this. Let me let me let me bring in this tool again. Okay. I'm looking to buy big time. This one is called big time. Okay. If you don't know what the token is all about, maybe we'll go to coin market cap and find out about big time. All right. And then big time is currently trading at uh, 0 0.1. Okay. If I go ahead and bring in my long position to let's say we want to buy big time around this area right here. I just click this team once. Okay. Now, if I leave this long position to the way it is, all right, this is a risk to reward ratio of one to one. But one thing I want you to take note of is that if it goes in against me, I'll be losing around. That means the market will need to drop by 23%, okay, for me to get out of this trade. And then if it goes in my favor, this is the one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio. The market will need to go against me by minus what? 23%. This goes to you who was asking that question that when you set your stop loss once it hits you, to tell you that all the crypto pairs we trade are not the same. This is for big time. Now, let me do the same thing with Dog. Well, let's do Doge. Okay, let's do Doge. I think Doge is a bit, uh, the spread on Doge is not that um, U, USDT. Okay, so let's do Doge coin. And then I will probably go ahead and, you know, mount my long position to, let's say, want to buy around here. I'll just click on once, which is equally the same thing, right? This is equally a risk reward ratio of one to one right one to one but see the difference why one to one on big time for me to get out of the trade big time we need to dump by 23 percent but on dogecoin look at it we just need to dump by 10 percent do you see the difference that big time okay the volatility on big time like one candle alone in big time can give you a whole lot of money even if you are using the same leverage, whether it is 10x leverage or 5x leverage, once this one picks up, because it gives you a lot of money, once it picks down, it gives you a lot of money, okay? So big time is a bit more um, volatile than this particular Dogecoin you are looking at. Now, let me do this with BTC. 
so that you see the difference why more people are even more comfortable why a lot of people are comfortable trading some of these tokens that are less volatile than some other tokens. let's say we want to buy btc around this area i'll go ahead and click on once okay this is equally a risk reward ratio of one to one why on big time market will need to down by 23 percent be um those the market will need to down by 10 percent but on btc this one to one on the daily time frame that's where i'm doing this this one to one it means the market will need to down by four percent just four percent so you see the yes, difference that's, that's that when you when you open long trade on bit on um on big time big time can liquidate you faster than btc would do all right if you let's say you use the same amount of leverage on big time you use 25x leverage on dogecoin you use 25x leverage and on bitcoin you use 25x leverage the first one to liquidate you will be big time the second one to liquidate you will be dogecoin and then BTC will be the last to liquidate you. So you have the leverage of staying longer in BTC than big time and Dogecoin. And then you have the, 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 the opportunity to stay longer in Dogecoin than big time. So it cut across all trees, all, all these tokens you look at. So when somebody is saying, why is the risk reward ratio on big time one to one? Just like one of you was analyzing uh, that, um, a risking uh, look he was actually looking for a risk war ratio one to one to two or one to three and then he sat down and started analyzing this one the risk reward ratio is not complete this one the risk reward ratio is complete the other one is one to two this one is one to three it cannot be the same because the spreads on these different tokens are not the same they are not the same so when you take trades today you are trading big time next tomorrow you are trading a sun the other tomorrow you are trading and you think that you will use the same stop loss in all of them or risk the same amount of money in all of them it won't work it will not work the fact that you're able to stay longer in btc and then before it hits your stop loss doesn't mean that you'll be able to stay that long on tokens like big time and some other mm -hmm. even tokens that are moving like that. let's do pop card let me see pop card and big time which one is even moving like that you can also let's do you can also check the ETH. So now. if I put pop card there and then do one to one, okay, pop card is a bit um is just one percent higher than uh, big time, right? So pop card will need to go down by twenty four, approximately twenty five percent, right? On pop card, so you see that they are not the same. If I do ETH USDT. So let's see what we have here on Ethereum. So we'll do again, just click on once. This is one to one. So Ethereum is a bit higher than BTC. Okay. It's a bit higher than BTC. In fact, Dogecoin is even more stable than Ethereum because Ethereum one to one is giving you minus 11%, okay? And then Dogecoin is minus 10%. So you see, now, when you trade this one, you'll be more relaxed than, you know, trading our tokens, every other tokens that we're looking at. So these are some of the things I want you guys to understand. So that when you're trading token, you think that because you use 30% in this trade, is the same thing. This one could be fast in giving you that 30% or, or fast in giving you that minus 30% or plus 30%. And others could actually be slow. Some will be fast to liquidate you. Some will be slow to liquidate you. So these are some of the things I want you guys to understand. If you understand it and you're able to work with this place, good for you. Just know it that whenever you're trading, let's even try BNB. Let me quickly show you BNB. I think this one said now. The reason why you USDT. Let's try BNB and uh, let me show you. So on BNB, let's do one to one again. Um, you see BNB, okay? BNB is lower than Ethereum. BNB is lower than um, Bitcoin. BNB is just eight percent with this one to one risk reward ratio. So you see why I trade some of these traditional. Things. Okay, let's do ADA USDT, right? Uh, because we are always looking for volatility, we are looking for money. Okay, today we can wake up and trade any hard token. But if you are new, okay, if you are new in this space, these are some of the things you need to take note of, and you know work with it. Take note of all these things that work with it. All right. I hope that is helpful. So yeah, go on. Um, somebody was saying something. Yeah, risk.com, what were you saying? 
So, I hope you get that, guys. I hope you get the gist. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, uh, still on the explanation you are making. Oh, sorry, I need to sincerely appreciate you for your sacrifice for also. Thank you so much. We really appreciate even though we might be silently and secretly following you behind. But we see all the efforts and the sacrifice you are making on our behalf. And God will continue to reward you. So, uh, that being said, sir, how can we now identify as a... Okay, let me... I won't say I'm a total newbie, but trading futures is not much of my strength. So, I, how can we really identify uh, volatile tokens from the non-volatile ones? Just in line with the explanation that you just gave us now. That, like the, one of the simple tricks that we can always just put whenever we see a signal so that we will know how to better adjust, position ourselves. Sir. That's my question. Um, that, that, that's a very hard one because I can't tell you categorically that this is how you identify that. But one thing I tell people, just like I've showed you, I've demonstrated some things right now. Okay. Anything aside BTC. Okay. Yes. Generally, the crypto market is very volatile, but anything aside BTC. Okay. Anything outside BTC. If you are using the same leverage for all of them. Okay. It, they, are, they are very volatile. Now, Basically, what I do is, if I want to trade these tokens, let's say, um, let me check Bybit. Somebody check Bybit uh, gainers list today and tell me which token is is on the top gainers there. Uh, where's my Bybit? Somebody check Bybit and tell me which token uh, is on the top gainer. Which token is leading on the top gainer right now on Bybit? F FB USDT. FB. Then AVXL. Oh. FBUSDT. F. This one, I'm hearing it for the first time. Now, yeah, I think it just launched. Not quite one? long, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah. So when I come to this token, let's say I'm looking to, to take a long trade on this. Okay. That risk to reward ratio is very important, too, right? So once I bring it, I'm currently on the 15 minutes. Now, one thing you should know is that I was doing that on the daily time frame. Even if you do it on the one minute time frame, but on the daily time frame, the one to one will be bigger. Like the percentage difference will be big. The higher the time frame, the higher, the bigger the percentage, right? And all of that. So I'm doing this on the five minutes time frame. Let's say you want to buy around here. Okay. So right here, you will see that if this token comes down to this area, that's around minus 7%. Okay. That's around minus 7% and all of that. So, if I'm looking to put, um, okay, let's say we are looking, uh, here will be a support, all right? If we, are, we say, okay, it was a resistance, yeah, let it become a support around this area, all right? So it means for me to put my stop loss, let's say I put, let me even say I'm looking for like a one to, this is already a one to three, if that is what I'm looking for. And I put my stop loss beneath this area. It means that for me to get out of this market, okay, the market will need to dump additional, uh, since it's dumping already, you need to go down more by 2% already before I can get out of this trade. Okay. There are some trades that will not give you this kind of opportunity. All right. Because I see that it has rejected here with the hope that it rejects here and start going up. There are some trades that will not give you this kind of opportunity. The, the second one is what? Let me compare the second one and show you something. The second token there is okay. what? The second one is AVXL. But you can use Tommy, sir. T O M I. Tommy or Reef. Um, uh, yeah, I think Reef too. Reef. Um, I will go back to Reef. All right. So we're looking at almost the same thing on this particular token, the same five minutes. So I'll go ahead and you know say, let me buy around this area. You see the difference? Why the other yes, one sir. will give you like seven percent? Okay, this one is just 3%. So that FB is more volatile than Tommy. So once I calculate all of this thing, with this one, now you see Tommy, I can allow it to come down to this area. You see the distance from here, this one to one risk to reward ratio. You see the distance. Okay. Yes, and then if I'm looking for a one to three here, if I'm looking for a one to three, you see how far that I can go before I get a one to three. 
right? Yes, sir. So at times that one to three, you I can easily get one to three when I'm trading that FB. But on yeah. tokens like that, that uh, on the, uh, like told me that are less volatile, yeah. like one to three will be hard because what I want to look at is the previous area where the market went to. Or let me even say I'm looking at this, my Fibonacci here. So I may not get one to three on this trade easily as it will be with the MB token. So this yes. tool here will enable you to know this one. If it is maybe on a market and they will tell you this one is more volatile than this one, you you it, uh, there is no space. Uh, there, there is no tool like that here that can detect which ones are more volatile. But any other token aside BTC is more volatile than BTC. But the crypto market in general is all volatile, okay? But more of this, most especially with meme coins, okay, they are more volatile than any other token. So why here you'll be able to give your your trade a space to breathe, no matter you, you give them this kind of big um, you know, a stop loss level, you'll be seeing minus 20%, minus 30%, and you don't want to wait in the market. Even if it is 5x leverage, minus 20%, you would have been liquidated a long time ago before you use your stop yes. loss. Right, uh, yes. th th those are just the difference. So whenever you come in here, these two will be able to speak, you know, volume for you. The long and short position too is very important too in trading, seriously, because all these mathematics calculations and the rest automatically does that for you. You'll be able to get an idea whether you want to risk more or smaller in that particular trade you are trading. I don't know if that is clear. Yes, 